Bismillah wa salatu wa rasulillah. I can't pray five times a day. I can't do it. Now, I don't believe you. Whoever said I can't do it, I don't believe you. You know why? Uh, because I believe Allah. Now, I didn't say I believe in Allah. I said I believe Allah. There's a difference, right? I believe in Allah means I believe Allah exists. I believe in Him. But when I say I believe Allah, it means I believe what He says. He says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها Allah does not burden anyone except unless they are able to carry that burden. You're saying you're not able to live up to a responsibility that Allah gave you. Isn't that true? You're saying, I can't pray five times. It's too much. And Allah is saying, yes, you can. So I have a choice between believing you and believing Allah. And perhaps if you didn't realize this, maybe you're lying to yourself. Maybe you've convinced yourself because of your laziness, because of your lack of will, that you don't want to pray five times. Maybe you have to, I, I can't judge you. I don't know what the problem is. The pro, you know, people can take 15 minute cigarette breaks at work, right? They can, they can take a break and just go hang out, do whatever. You can't pray five times a day. SubhanAllah. When I used to, you know, when I used to work in New York City, I would see Muslims praying all over the place. In the middle of Fifth Avenue, on the curb, the guy is making salah because it's time. Muslims will pray. If there's time, we're going to pray. That's it. We're going to pray. So there are no excuses. That would be the cops. <laughs> all right. Okay. Allah said you can. If so, if Allah gave this burden upon you, and He did, in fact, then you can convince yourself of that and and rely on Allah. He'll make it easy for you. Now, this question is actually more about does He need my prayer or not? You're forgetting that the prayer isn't for Allah. It's for you. It's not for Allah. If all the people in the world, all they did with their life was pray to Allah, it would not make him any richer. Any, his, it wouldn't add to his kingdom because he already owns all of kingdom. And if no one mentioned Allah ever again, it doesn't diminish his dominion, his kingdom, his glory in any way. He doesn't need us. We need him. We need him. So the question is, do you feel like you need to pray? And if it's not, if you feel you're free of you know, begging Allah for his help, turning to Allah and submitting before His commandments, then that's a serious problem with your faith. It's become weak and this question only came up because you've been distanced from Allah for so long that shaitan can come to you and say, yeah, I know you used to feel bad about not praying. Let's just get rid of that bad feeling and replace it with, well, why do I have to pray anyway? That's the next phase of that disease. The first part was at least it was diagnosed, but at least you had some bad feeling. Guilt was still there. That's a gift from Allah. <laughs>